good. Hey guys, I'm Mike Manal from the Nerds of Color. How are you? Hi Mike, good. Good. great. Very good. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time for this. Uh, what a sharp and funny show. Um, you guys are just brilliant in it. And, and honestly, the cutting satire of just the industry in general is so profound and so clever. So, so well done, all of you guys. Oh, great. Um, thank you. Of course. Um, Lolly, if I could start with you. Um, when it comes to DAG, it's in the hands of a lesser actress or lesser creators. A character like her could definitely come across uh, overbearing, a little bit like obnoxious, uh, you know, all of that. But you guys don't do that. You manage to make her so endearing from a writing perspective and especially for you from a performance perspective. Uh, what made Dag really endearing to you and how did you bring that out of this character in your performance? Thank you so much. That's so nice. Um, yeah, I guess it's like a fine balance of being kind of too smart for your own good and kind of grating um, and providing comic relief and kind of easing the tension. Um, and I think it's kind of fun to play with that balance. Sometimes she oversteps it and sometimes she doesn't. Um, but I think you, I, well, at least I try to like convey that she does care about people, even if she doesn't necessarily care about superhero movies. Um, I think it's like quite useful to have that character who's kind of the eyes of the audience, kind of slightly overwhelmed initially, um, and definitely not the voice of reason, but like the voice of the average person in this situation, I think. I think she's relatable because she's kind of calling it how she sees it um, and not kind of pretending to just go along with things that she doesn't understand. Definitely an emotional core in this show, which I really loved about her. Um, and, and one of the things that I just related to her uh, significantly on. Mm -hmm. um, Darren, for you, I think you give hands down one of the funniest performances that I've seen in a debut comedy in in oh, years. Honestly, wow. it is. Thank you. It is so good, uh, and I think one of, the, one of the best scenes for me, uh, without spoiling anything, there's just a straight up reel of you doing Comic Con intros. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's just amazing, and I haven't seen that. I can't wait to see it. Oh my gosh. It, it, I was on the floor laughing because I've been in age before and I've yeah. seen people do that. And I was just like, spot on. Oh, good. Good. Um, did, did, you know, did you pull from any inspirations for other celebrities doing Comic-Con intros, particularly TV? I'm going to give it to you. Uh, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> I'm going to set this baby up front and center, all right? This is exactly who I took. And you can Let's go on it. YouTube and go, look, Steve Ballmer. Microsoft uh, conference. Do you know what I'm talking uh, about? Yeah, yeah. The energy. That, it makes the sense. energy. <laughs> it needs to be just like this person. There's a there's a 75 percent chance this person's going to die in five minutes. <laughs> like it, 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 so. As I said to myself before I went on stage, I was like, "What can you do where you can actually scare the audience right now?" <laughs> and and that's what I tried to do. And I'm. I hope it. You know, translated. <laughs> it really translated. <laughs> okay. It's so mm -hmm. funny. Um, oh yeah. my god, it was it was brilliant, and I I loved Thank it. You. I think everyone's going to just laugh their asses off when they see it. Um, speaking of hilarious, uh, Isaac. I mean, Bryson. Come on, just a funny, <laughs> funny performance. Thank you. Somewhere between like endearing, also, but also slightly spineless. You know, which I I yeah. loved. Um, and, and the funny thing is, I think um, people who might not have seen your other work, they don't know you have this voice of an angel, you know, like oh, you're no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Google, um, <laughs> YouTube, so, <laughs> exactly. Everybody's got to watch that. It's just, uh, you know, as a performer, how do you approach a character in a multi cam sitcom versus really a, a Broadway show? And uh, do you think we'll ever hear Bryson sing in the future? I would love to Actually, hear. What's funny is there was a moment where Bryson was supposed to sing a song that we couldn't get the rights for. Oh, really? Oh it was um, that Alicia Keys song, uh, This Girl is on Fire. Oh, yeah, Do you remember yeah, this? Vaguely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, right before they, they rolled on it, it was like during blocking rehearsal, they were like, oh, wait, you actually, you, you legally can't sing that. So I don't know. Maybe we'll get a little bit of Bryson singing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I would take that any day over uh, Adam's band. I'm sorry, you know. Oh, like, uh, what was the band? Yeah, like, oh, that's, what was that's, the band? Yeah, that's the end of six. That was a good band. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. And and he was so he had he had to hide the guitars, but we wouldn't have to do that for Bryson, you know? Exactly. Yeah, so. I know. Let Bryson <laughs> sing. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Um, Lolly, going back to you, um, you know, one of the things that I think like Dag, Dag really doesn't like superhero movies. And I think that there was a, a moment where I think she is talking to Daniel and she says, you know, she asks him, are you, do you think you're ruining cinema? Um, I just wanted to ask you personally, how, how do you feel about superhero cinema in general? And do you think it is ruining like the industry to a degree? Um, actually the question for all of you, I, I'd love to hear your, all, everyone's thoughts on that. I don't think it's ruining cinema. I think churning out, um, you know, hundreds of films that have no soul would kill cinema. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I think like, yeah, like John said it, like an amazing superhero film is kind of like nothing else and stays with you like many years on and can like become a classic. Um, so I think like making a superhero film with care um, and trusting the creative voices to do their thing and like be able to make the art that they want to make um is definitely not killing cinema i guess like like any other piece of art it's about like trusting the people who want to tell their stories um and then it can be amazing it's just the kind of corporate influence that can kind of attempt to kill cinema i think it feels like an easy mark to blame mm -hmm. the superhero movies where what, in the 80s and 90s, they weren't making crazy expensive, over-the-top action movies? Like, But I think then they used to have more of those $20 million kind of more sophisticated movies. So we were getting that. But now it just seems like we're not getting those movies anymore. And I guess people, it's just saying, well, we're not making it because all the money is going to superhero movies. But I don't know if that's true. Is it, there's always been a, there's always been kind of bloated budgets for movies that aren't very good. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, and honestly, I, I feel like to your points, it's not about the genre. It's about putting love into what you're making. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I think that the franchise does really well. It talks about a crew that actually kind of loves what they do to a degree. And if you put in that love, if you put in the work and if you make something great, then you actually can make real cinema. But churning things out in a money first sort of philosophy is not going to get you there. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say thank you guys for everything. This was fun. This was amazing. I can't wait for people to see the show. I'm rooting for season two because you guys left me on a cliffhanger and I'm like, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all those Thank nice you. things you said. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you guys. Lectures, fanboys, professional artists, and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard knock life. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play, so check this.